Tonse, Tonse, people. My name is Sin K. You can call me Sin for short. And welcome to the tier list. To my tier list for Ratchet and Clank. I'm gonna be honest. This is like probably my like seventh time recording this. Uh, I did record like three videos. I did not like them. I got off to topic and went to like somewhere else. So this is me trying it again on a different day. So the way this, this is gonna work, uh, I bet the the three games you guys see in the F sections are the ones I haven't played out of the Ratchet and Clank franchise. Two being mobile games so there's no way for me to play them uh one being a remake and i don't have a ps4 at all right you guys know that so i don't have a ps4 for me to try that i should probably get that sometime i don't know when i'll get around to it if i keep getting you know bugged about it or if i get a comment and saying hey you should definitely try it you know maybe it'll change your opinion on it and stuff like that but for now all the games that i haven't played are going to be put in f just because i haven't played them you know what i mean i have no opinions on them so f being the worst and s of course being the greatest you know what i mean and anyways to get that out, I got I'm glad I got that out of the way. Sorry. Oof. Uh, the next is going to be the games are going to be based on the three topics or the three uh, categories is what I put them as overall gameplay, story, graphics. Uh, you know, that's that's and then maybe a bonus category. What I which I was trying to come up with, which is basically just my overall memory of them. Like if I can remember them, you know, how much stuck with me. Right. Uh, we're going to do this like this. We're going to start with the, the first game, which I believe was really strong for me and i'm gonna put that at a now the reason why being at a tier not s tier is because the overall gameplay was fun but it was also pretty clunky for me as i have played other older games who have that have better uh controls you know what i mean and overall i feel like the gameplay is what let me down from it being an s tier but i still remember the story and that's what kept me going is the story and the graphics the graphics still hold up till today like uh there's this recent project sorry to get off on a different tangent here there's a recent project that i've been seeing where somebody uh, has a texture pack of 4k graphics and I'm probably going to try the game all over again with that and it still looks beautiful even with updated resolutions or updated like textures and stuff it's just oh you, you have to watch that video just type in 4k texture pack for Ratchet and Clank and this guy is working on a project for it I can't wait till it comes out I'm so excited for it anyways just wanted to plug that in there <laughs> but definitely the, the story is what really really made that for me like it still sticks with me seeing uh, the village and seeing how Clank was made and his mom learning more about him and then around the end teasing about uh, where Ratchet is and everything or how Ratchet came to be and stuff like that. that that really like touched base with me also seeing the villain and that was a hard boss fight truly was a hard boss fight if I was to rate that boss fights man I would probably put that in the top five most difficult you know what I mean that I've experienced for the Ratchet and Clank games Okay, now on to the second game. And it's going Commando. I'm going to put it S tier. I'm putting it S tier. All right, that's just because, like, overall, it improved on the first one. The gameplay was so much fun. I had a lot of fun. I had, a, like, even though I had to redo some of the gameplay, you know what I mean? I had to go back and try and get those scenes. But I was so far ahead. It was, like, a 14-hour game. And I, had, I would have to start a new save and go back. You know what I mean? I was doing that. And then I realized, oh, I don't have enough time to push this video out. But I was still having so much fun though. I just was crunched on time to get the next video out to make up for that, right? I only had like a day to do it and I only had so many hours and I didn't, I, you know, I got, you guys know I don't like being late on uh, recordings and stuff. So I was just really upset that I couldn't get that uh, episode eight, I believe it was, or episode seven. So there's a whole episode missing out of that catalog, which I'm going to return back to uh, probably after the summer and, you know, s smooth out that that gap right the story the story was great i loved it i really did i really loved the story of them uh getting celebrated and like getting really you know all these rewards and all these upgrades and everything uh even just the betrayal like like the, my the mystery the mystery of who was behind the mask like i had a feeling it was uh of nether lombax or somebody else who was trying to stop us you know what i mean i just had that feeling throughout the whole story but i didn't want to believe it right because i thought we were working for the good guys and when my feeling was right i was like wow i was like what the fuck like really <laughs> and in terms of graphics that definitely oh still holds up today even better than most games nowadays which i'm actually surprised by like the type of gameplay and complexity it put together was just amazing and seeing what what they accomplished with, with that engine that they were using for the playstation 2 really blew me away i was like wow this is a playstation 2 game i never you know i never thought ever thought of a game being like that from the ps2 era so 
or generation i should say but yeah that's why i think it is great it still holds up today it's still one of the greats i would replay this and i am going to just <laughs> i'm really busy nowadays uh as you guys know anyways the third game which is up your arsenal i'm gonna put s tier as well all right you know that the reason why is because it just kept getting better right overall the gameplay just got better it was more smooth uh i, I believe this one uh gave us the upgrade system or not the upgrade system gave us uh different upgrades or mods right i believe it was the third game that introduced that if, I, if i'm remembering properly and it overall just changed the way i play from the second game introducing sir uh strafing and me finally getting the handle of strafing i was like wow this is this is totally different a totally different game and the difficulty was amped up i believe i believe it was the third one that had that fight with uh what's his name dr nefarious i this uh you have no idea two and a half hours of dr nefarious that boss fight destroyed me dude i was oh uh, i even had to take a break i had to, i was getting ready to throw my controller but i was still enjoying it i was still loving it you know what i mean the gameplay was just overall just out of this world it was way better than the second game if i'm being honest like in terms of gameplay just because of what it all added and what they all improved upon the story was also a bit better you know a little bit better i should say and bringing dr nefarious into the into the play was very interesting as well learning more about him and everything and then learning about all these other characters i was just like wow dude I, I was really invested you know that really pumped me up for the next game and really just drew me in and i wish i was a kid to experience these but as an adult it's also a blessing in disguise too because you know i'm, I'm basically experiencing these games i haven't played before and it's 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 great it's great like now that i think about it, i'm like i can't believe i played all the ratchet and clank games well most of them right like there's just those three down there that i haven't experienced i know two of them are mobile game i know the one of them was better than the other for the mobile games if i remember correctly while reading uh reviews on them the graphics still just oh beautiful like this oh, makes me so sad that we're at that time uh, day this, at this day and age that games nowadays don't try to reach that same type of euphoria of like awe inspiring graphics right like for a time that was at that time it was like very beautiful nowadays it's just like why can't they do that? Why can't they make a new protagonist like this or like try make games like this? Like, I think it would work good nowadays. You know what I mean? It would do very well. A new IP that's kind of just like Ratchet and Clank, but based in their own way. You know what I mean? Platformers are not dead, but they're definitely still evolving. And I wish we got more of it. You know what I mean? Instead of having more shooters and stuff like that, I think we should have more adventures. And that segues us into the next game, which is ratchet and clink deadlock and this one i'm putting s tier as well i know it, you guys are probably gonna get mad at me for this but like the first you know after the second and to the fourth game deadlock did it for me just overall gameplay fun it totally shakes it up you know what i mean it makes it into like an actual third person like lock on like you know what i mean a gladiator style i was digging it dude I was loving it. The fourth game just really, along with its music, its soundtrack, its overall vibe, just made me feel like a total badass. That uh, just still blew me away on some of the graphics. So good. I, I'm de I would definitely return to that game, which I am. Like I, I keep saying that, but I am going to return to these games over on my live streams when I have more time. I'm just. Oh, so pressed for time for things, you know, that's the one thing that we don't have enough of is enough time, right? But overall, I, I loved the story for this game. Uh, I know it has a weaker storyline than others, but like still it like had me invested. Uh, we get imprisoned and just knowing that, you know, we have to try to break out of prison. And the only way to do that is if we have to win our freedom. But then we started noticing all these things like loopholes and stuff in the system and Oh, I was overall s sad for the doctor when he got shot. I thought he was like gone, gone or like when he got hurt. But knowing he's half cyborg, I was content with that. And then I was wondering where Captain Quark is. I think this is the first game where Captain Quark wasn't in, in, in it at all. Just at the end, right? Well, they're teasing him. Graphics, like I said before, beautiful story, beautiful gameplay, fun as fuck. All I remember is the soundtrack from uh deadlock that's that's all i remember is the soundtrack and i just remember the story being really fun and then the, the overall difficulty of it was pretty good too it, was, it had like it's it had its moments sometimes it was just too hard for me uh some i would take long breaks for deadlock and uh up your arsenal those are the two games that really i struggled with 
But yeah, uh, definitely S tier. Definitely worthy of being up there with uh, the trilogy. You know what I mean? Deadlock. Definitely earned its place amongst the Ratchet and Clank games. And now we're moving on to the next, which is Tools of Destruction. Now, I'm a bit biased. All right, I'm putting that at B tier. Some of you may not agree with that, but the reason being is just because uh, the gameplay kind of just felt like it was a step back. I felt like it just it stagnated, like it stayed at stayed at uh, going commando. You know what I mean? Like it just didn't progress. And that's that's what upset me the most is that, oh, all right, well, I guess it's own genre now. You know what I mean? Like they they're not they're not looking to strive or change it up, change up the formula went back to back to its roots and that's why i put it at b it's very safe you know what i mean i thought that was really cool gameplay was still meh kind of fun at times what overall saved it is the story but then again the story didn't totally like drag me in there i was still kind of like all right what's, what are we doing here what's happening you know oh well the graphics great beautiful so beautiful not not like iron awe inspiring but like you know beautiful enough you know what i mean for that generation still enjoyed it still a great game good game you know what i mean would i return uh maybe after i'm done all those other ones <laughs> after i've done the ps2 ones uh then definitely i would definitely return to it overall i just i don't remember much of the story for tools of destruction i'm sorry i just don't remember very much the only thing that really kept me going is what happens with clank uh definitely what happens with clank is just what drew me in uh that gives us a quest for booty which i'm gonna put right here let's see overall it was a good game but it just it didn't blow me away it didn't you know what i mean it didn't make me just overall excited to play it you know what i mean i dreaded it even though i only played it like one whole day but i played it in the morning then i played it in the evening but still i was just like what i was disappointed with the length of it i was really disappointed I believe if it was a bit longer, like let's say six hours or five hours at least, then definitely it would tend to be up beside Tools of Destruction or even be up there with Rush and Clank. The story was meh. All right, like I, I, I get it. It has to connect to a crack in time. I get it. I get it. But still, I was just like, damn, that wasn't that w that like left a sour taste in my mouth, if that makes sense. And the graphics weren't that great. I feel like the graphics stagnated for a quest for booty. Like, like they tried to replicate what uh, Tools of Destruction had and it just didn't work. You know what I mean? The aesthetic of it, amazing. The, the, the gameplay and the aesthetic, I can't, I just have to give credits, credits due, I should say. Uh, the gameplay and the aesthetic of a quest for booty definitely saved it. Uh, it's definitely not a bad game, but it's not a great game either. Right? It's just a good game overall solid game very safe choice you know what i mean if you want to kill a little bit of time then definitely play it you know what i mean would i return to it maybe not maybe not maybe if i finish tools of destruction like fully get everything get all the upgrades and stuff then i would think about it you know what i mean like i would think to be a collectathon and get all of it but uh, that's that's overall my thoughts on that game i just i still enjoyed it is what i'm saying <laughs> anyways we'll, we'll get on to the next which is a crack in time and we are gonna put this bad boy s tier yeah we're putting a crack in time up there and the reason why a crack in time was as up there is just because like overall gameplay fun super fun a few things they changed like the mobility which was a welcome change how the rocket boots uh having quicker time quicker time events was very cool just overall the concept of having to do with time and the story wrapping up who create like who's crank clank's dad i mean crank sorry <laughs> well i was just like overall the story had me invested at this point of the like out of all of the games if it wasn't for a crack of time i don't think i would have continued because i was kind of stagnating like i was kind of like putting it off you know what i mean i was starting to have doubts of finishing the whole thing but after playing a crack in time and like playing it for a good week i was really invested it was so good you have no idea how good it was i would definitely return to that game i overall just loved the gameplay the strafing was smooth uh fighting was great shooting the guns the sound design the soundtrack oh so good even like overall sound, the, the voice acting i just couldn't get over how great and invested i was graphics blew me away definitely blew me away it was like night and day if you compare kraken time and tools of destruction uh, also, the ability of uh, stopping time 
I believe was also very cool. Just overall, Clank's puzzles as well was a welcome change. And overall, I, I just love that game. And I'm that's why I'm putting it up there. I, it's a game I'll remember till the end of time. You know what I mean? I have it. It's close to my heart now. <laughs> and that just leaves us with the next game, which is all for one. And I'm going to put it beside Tools of Destruction. It was a good game. You know what I mean? A great good game for a party mode. You know what I mean? I, I definitely would play it with friends. The gameplay was pretty fun, like super fun. You have no idea how much fun I was having uh, with my sister. I'm glad we finished it. Uh, I didn't think it was going to be that long. I think it was going to be like six to seven hours long. I thought, you know, it was going to be a little bit shorter than that, like maybe four or three hours. And it was very difficult. I'm going to tell you that right now. When you have to do work as a team with somebody else and they don't have that same kind of skill level as you, you're, you're going to struggle. All right, my sister doesn't play games very much as I do. So me trying to teach her things and like tell her what I'm thinking and stuff and she's not getting it. It was just like, oh, it was so frustrating at times. And I couldn't get mad at her. I, I rarely get mad at my sister. So I was like, all right, I just got to teach her. I got to be patient. <laughs> but yeah, I would I would definitely return to it for the gameplay. The story, uh, story was memorable, but it wasn't great. I think what just blew me away was just the fact that magic was being involved or like science experiments and stuff like that and the twists of it definitely changed how i how i felt about it graphics uh that's that's why it's b tier i just was impressed by the graphics there was a lot of glitches i'm gonna tell you that and there was a lot of glitches you guys saw there was a lot of glitches but like that's on my end that's on my hardware that i'm using so i didn't really base it on that i based it on like it's overall glitches or overall glitches <laughs> overall graphics of uh you know, just being cartoonish. It was definitely cute. I just wish they stuck with like a Kraken Time or Tools of Destruction's art style. I, I believe if they stuck with that, uh, it would definitely be done great. You know what I mean? Definitely the cartoonish thing does turn people away a lot. Didn't really bug me, but it kind of like, I kind of miss the older design. You know what I mean? Like our Kraken Time and Tools of Destruction. I kind of miss their designs of Ratchet and Clank. I don't know. It just overall seemed a little uh, mediocre to me on the graphics side, the graphics department, considering what they could achieve if they put all their heart and soul into it instead of uh, focusing on uh, multiplayer. And with that, we're just going to continue on to the next game, which is Full Frontal Assault. And I'm going to put it... Ooh, uh, probably D. Yeah, the only thing that's saving it was the gameplay. The tower defense thing was what saved it for me. It was good. It was a solid game. I just wish it was longer. Uh, I wish they gave better, um, more time or like um, endless mode. You know what I mean? For these things, for the tower defense things. And I just wanted more guns. That's it. If they gave that, I probably would have put it up there with C or B. Uh, overall, if they improved the story as well, I found it kind of silly. That uh, I forget his name now. See, that's how that's how bad the story was. I, I forget the characters. The fact that he was a bad guy, like the nerd or his fanboy. Can't remember his name. I'm, I'm sorry. That's just how, that's how bad it was. The story was for me. Overall, still a good game. Still a good game. Not a great game. And graphics was definitely still lacking. I still found it not that impressive. I feel like if they, like I said before, if they stuck with the crack in time until the destructions ratchet, I believe it would have done good. You know what I mean? Overall, I, I liked it. I still liked it. I think it was a good game. Anyways, on to the next, which is Into the Nexus. And I'm putting that beside a quest for booty. Uh, the reason why is the gameplay kind of changed a bit. They kind of added a nice few changes that I liked. Uh, overall, the puzzles, I love the puzzles. Uh, adding magic into it for the story and having space magic and stuff like that was overall cool. I really enjoyed that. I wish we got more of it or heard more from those villains or how they were doing or even seen them in the other games. You know what I mean? Overall, it was, it was very nice. And the graphics, still good still good it was it's not a great game but it's a good game i enjoyed it i still enjoyed it i just wish it was a bit longer more fleshed out and overall still a good game you know what i mean i i still remember it would i return to it maybe not maybe not we'll see if if i uh, improve my hardware maybe i will return to it because if i get a better graphics card a better cpu then definitely definitely i will return to that game i just wish we got more of it you know what i mean i wanted more of that space magic i think it was a really cool thing they were going with there just the fact that we only got one game with it i was just that's overall what disappoints me is we only got one game with space magic and stuff anyways on to the next game uh before we move on to the see these are the blah, 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 blah. 
spinoffs. Before we return to the spinoffs, we're going to move on to Rift Apart. And Rift Apart's going to S tier. <laughs> I, I definitely enjoyed Rift Apart a lot that I'm actually replaying it on Twitch. Just not as much, maybe every so often. Um, once or twice, I believe I played it. Uh, I'm doing a second playthrough. You guys can come check it out on Twitch. Uh, the gameplay, love it. It's just to die for. It's just, I adore it. You know what I mean? I can't get enough of it. And recently they made an update to it where they added a more a better, uh, I believe, system, better patch for uh, FPS. So for frame rate, uh, they patched a few glitches. They patched a few things. They ironed it out. They made it sure that weaker hardware can handle it on PC. So definitely I'm going to try to give that a go. Overall, the story. Oh, I just can't tell you how perfect the story is for this game. It's so good. I hope everybody plays this game. I want my siblings to play it. I want my friends to play it, but I know they're not big, you know, single player people. But overall, the story is so good. I can't wait for the next Ratchet and Clank game. I'm so invested now. I'm a big fan now. I just can't wait. I'm so excited. Hope we get more of Rivet. Rivet is one of my new favorite characters. We get more of Kit as well. Oh, so good. I, I wish we get like a multiplayer mode or you know what I mean? And he finally sees his uh, dad or the Lombaxes and where they went, like they finally find them. Hope we get another like two games of them together, co-op mode, something. I just want more, more of Rivet and Kit, more of Ratchet and Clank. I feel like we need more, you know what I mean? Uh, the graphics definitely blew me away. I, I feel like once I get uh, better hardware, I am definitely going to max them out and play it on max it just it's so good and I, the second playthrough i'm doing is modded and so even then changing the colors of their eyes changing their armor changing the color of their armor and everything is also very cool uh also adding little things from other uh like adding the master sword as the wrench it's just uh, it's beautiful it's really good it's a really good game amazing game i just can't hype it up enough uh i'm so glad i got got to play it and still continue to play it till this day so make sure to check out twitch uh i i probably will play it soon you probably see it over on my uh twitch and with that we are now moving on to the spin-offs and we are going to start with the one i first started off with which is secret agent clank i believe uh, Secret Agent Clank, we're going to put all the way B tier. The reason why it's going to be B tier is because the gameplay was fun. It was fun. It was a fun game. I enjoyed it a lot. I did not think I was going to have fun with it. I looked at the I looked at all the reviews. I shit you not. I looked at all the reviews for this game. I was worried I was going to play a terrible game because the reviews were so low. Um, I didn't see very much positivity on it. I even watched a little bit of other YouTubers give their reviews on it. And they said they, you know what I mean? All their, oh, I was just so hurt by it. I was like, damn. I don't think I want to play it now, but as soon as I touched it and started playing it, oh, dude, it was so interesting. It was so much fun. I had a kick-ass time. I remember uh, doing the kung fu combos with him, and overall, it really felt like we were in the TV show that we see throughout the series. I really enjoyed that a lot. The story was great, too. I actually liked the story a lot. It was just so much fun, and uh, being able to use his three little agents, uh, little robots to help you, his little robot pups, I forget what they're called, I'm sorry. And overall, just he, seeing him be James Bond was just overall cool. It was, it was the best, you know what I mean? And having him try to free uh, Ratchet was also the, 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 ra the prison Ratchet parts were also very fun. Like the arena parts, I, I love that, the Battleplex things. Overall, I would definitely return to that game. Once I'm done all these, other, like returning to all these other ones, I'm definitely going to do a second playthrough to get everything uh now the reason why it's b tier is because of the graphics uh the graphics are what really turned me off they didn't blow me away but then again this is a psp game and it didn't really you know rub me the right way if that makes sense so that's the come i put a b tier i put it beside uh tools of destruction and all for one that's that's where it is on my list of things and now we're gonna move on to the next spinoff the next spinoff being size matters and size matters is gonna go to a tier overall the gameplay amazing beautiful i still enjoyed it a lot it took me a while to get used to there's no strafing at all uh you'd have to get mods to do that to do the strafing thing and it was just overall something I, a change i was not used to having because all these other games up from i believe going commandos where i learned to strafe so i was strafing in all these other games and all of a sudden in size matter i was not strafing and that was a real big change for me. You know what I mean? Like, scratch that. I'm wrong. It's Clank I was thinking of. 
Oops, my bad. There was strafing in size matters. It's just I too dumb to remember. My bad. I take it back. <laughs> I had to go look at my old gameplay here because I was like, I think I'm making it backwards. But yeah, no, I made it backwards. Correction, it's Clank that had no strafing. <laughs> size matter did have strafing. Strafing. It was just really, really clunky. A really clunky wave strafing and very different. I couldn't use my sticks. I had to use my triggers, I believe, to look left and right. Overall, the story is what saved it. The story for Size Matter is what saved it. It's really what drew me in. It, the story is really where it's at for that game. And the graphics, too, are amazing, too, for a PSP game. Overall, it just held up to the test of time. It still holds up to all this day. And it would be a game that I would definitely make a second playthrough on. I, I enjoyed it a lot. And, you know, I would recommend it. I would recommend it to my siblings to play that game. <laughs> I think that's it. I think that's my tier list. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. I think I explained as much as I could. Uh, if, if anything I'm missing, uh, please say it in the comments below or message me on Discord. You know, those, those are the good two places I'll reply to. Also, check out the stream. I'll be streaming it someday. And uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say now. I just, I feel better about this video. I hope it does well. <laughs> or I hope you guys, you know, if you guys disagree, uh, maybe you guys can put your own lists down in the in the comment section below. Tell me your overall thoughts for all the games. Even if you guys have watched all of my uh, Ratchet and Clank playthrough series, uh, tell me what you guys think, how you guys feel about it and stuff like that. Overall, I think it's a solid list. I, I, I redid this so many times. I cannot stress that enough, guys. I made three videos and I just went off on different things and it just, it overall seemed negative. The first three videos that I made seemed so negative because like I wasn't judging it based on my experience. I was judging it based on how others saw it. You know what I mean? Because I was asking other people what they think of these games and never took the time to take myself and be like okay well i have to make my own opinion and overall i learned that you just can't listen to others when you're trying to make these things <laughs> when you're trying to make these tier lists uh overall i enjoyed it you know what i mean and yeah uh not a not a bad game not a great game either a few of them definitely good games overall solid good games around right i think my first video if i'm gonna make be honest like if i'm gonna make a a little sneak peek is the, my first video that i did i had secret agent clank on size matter and f then when i actually thought about it and like really like wrote down all my thoughts i was like okay no these games don't belong in f and then i tried to put all for one quest for booty and full frontal assault down there and i was like no they necessarily weren't bad games it's just they they weren't good games or great games either i mean so yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my little tier list here. I am going to probably do a weapons list. That let me know if you guys are interested in other lists as well, like a villains list where would I rate all the bosses and stuff like that uh, for Ratchet and Clank or for any other games. You know what I mean? I am going to do a Zelda tier list. Uh, once I'm done all the Zelda games, I'm going to do a Jack and Daxter tier list. Once I'm done all of those games. Uh, yeah, I I'm actually liking this a lot. Uh, I'm hoping you guys don't tear me up too much in the comment section over all my thoughts uh again if i forgot anything please let me know and uh with that bye bye i'll smell you later have a great day drink lots of water don't have coffee in the morning you don't need that shit no more caffeine looking at you no caffeine hey don't no more no more no more of that bye 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 bye